Secrets of Memory and Forgetting Ever wondered why you can remember your childhood phone number but forget where you put your keys? The answer lies in the fascinating science of memory and forgetting. Tune in to uncover groundbreaking techniques that can transform your memory and learning abilities, making information stick like never before. Unlocking the Secrets of Memory and Forgetting Enhance your brain's potential. Whether you're a student aiming to ace your exams, a professional looking to sharpen your edge, or just a curious learner, this audiobook will unravel the complex processes of memory and forgetting. Discover how your brain stores, retrieves, and sometimes forgets information, and learn actionable strategies to enhance your memory like never before. Focus Points The Science of Forgetting Learn why forgetting isn't just loss but an active brain process. Memory Storage and Retrieval Understand how memories are tagged and why we experience trends in forgetting. Effective Memory Techniques Explore how novelty and unique cues boost memory retention. Practical Study Tips Discover methods to enhance learning using diverse resources. Emotional Impact on Memory See how your emotions affect memory and learning performance. Horizontal versus Vertical Learning Find out why connecting concepts across topics is more effective than isolated fact memorization. Overcoming Mental Barriers Learn strategies to tackle self-perception and mental health challenges that impact memory. What you will learn The active process of forgetting and its role in memory. Techniques to improve memory storage and recall. Practical study and learning strategies for better retention. The impact of emotions and self-perception on learning. Effective methods for connecting and retaining information. Focus point one. The science of forgetting. Forgetting is not simply a failure to remember but a dynamic, intentional process. It is an active and essential part of how our brains manage information. The concept of forgetting as an active process challenges the traditional view of forgetting as merely a passive loss of data. Understanding forgetting. The brain's ability to forget information is crucial for cognitive efficiency. It helps prevent overload and ensures that only relevant information is retained. Forgetting facilitates learning by making room for new data and refining existing knowledge. According to cognitive psychologist John Wixted, forgetting is the brain's way of optimizing memory storage. It discards less useful information to make room for new, more relevant data. Neuroscientific Insights Neuroscience reveals that forgetting involves complex brain mechanisms. One prominent theory is the decay theory, which posits that memory traces weaken over time if they are not actively rehearsed or retrieved. Research by Ebbinghaus, a pioneer in memory studies, show that we forget a significant portion of newly learned information within a short period, a phenomenon now known as the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve. His experiments highlighted that without review, memory retention dramatically declines after the initial learning phase. Another influential theory is the interference theory, which suggests that forgetting occurs because new information interferes with the retrieval of old information. This theory divides interference into two types, proactive interference, where old memories disrupt the recall of new information, and retroactive interference, where new memories affect the recall of previously learned information. Experimental Evidence Consider the classic experiment conducted by John Jenkins and Carl Dallenbach in 1924. They demonstrated that memory retention was significantly better when subjects slept after learning new information compared to when they stayed awake. This experiment highlighted that interference from other cognitive activities, such as new learning or environmental stimuli, plays a critical role in forgetting. Cognitive Theories and Mechanisms The active forgetting theory suggests that forgetting is a purposeful process by which the brain actively suppresses or inhibits irrelevant memories. This process is thought to be facilitated by brain regions like the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in executive functions and cognitive control. Active forgetting allows for more efficient information processing and retrieval of relevant memories. Additionally, theories of memory consolidation propose that forgetting may occur as part of the process of consolidating memories. During consolidation, the brain stabilizes and integrates new memories. This process can sometimes lead to the loss of less relevant details, allowing the core aspects of the memory to be retained. Practical Recommendations Rehearse and Review 
regularly review important information to combat forgetting and strengthen memory consolidation. Create contextual cues. Use contextual cues and associations to enhance memory retrieval and reduce interference. Sleep and rest. Ensure adequate sleep as it plays a crucial role in memory consolidation and reducing forgetting. Manage cognitive load. Avoid cognitive overload by breaking information into smaller, manageable chunks. Engage in active learning. Use techniques such as summarization and self-testing to reinforce learning and minimize forgetting. Understanding forgetting as an active, purposeful process provides valuable insights into memory management and improvement strategies. By leveraging these insights, you can enhance your memory retention and learning effectiveness. Focus point two, memory storage and retrieval. Memory storage and retrieval are intricate processes that involve multiple stages in neural systems. Understanding these mechanisms can help improve memory retention and recall, enhancing learning efficiency. Memory storage. Memory storage begins with encoding, the process by which sensory information is converted into a form that can be stored in the brain. Encoding involves attention and perception, and it is influenced by factors such as the level of processing and emotional impact. According to the levels of processing theory proposed by Fergus Craik and Robert Lockhart, the depth at which information is processed affects how well it is encoded. Deep, semantic processing, focusing on meaning, leads to more durable memory storage compared to shallow, sensory processing. Memory retrieval. Once information is encoded, it is stored in the brain's memory systems, primarily within the hippocampus and cerebral cortex. Retrieval, the process of accessing stored information, can be influenced by various factors, including the availability of retrieval cues and the strength of the memory trace. The retrieval cue theory suggests that cues or associations linked to a memory can facilitate retrieval. For example, the smell of a particular perfume might trigger memories of a past event where that perfume was worn. The role of memory tags. Memories are not stored as isolated pieces of information but are tagged with contextual details such as time, place, and associated emotions. This tagging helps organize memories and makes retrieval more efficient. Research by Endel Tulving on episodic memory illustrates that memories are encoded with contextual information, which aids in the retrieval process. Tulving's work highlights that memory retrieval is often more successful when the context at recall matches the context at encoding. Concept of cue overload. The concept of cue overload refers to the idea that excessive information or cues can lead to transient forgetting or difficulty in accessing specific memories. When too many cues or pieces of information are present, it can become challenging to distinguish and retrieve the relevant memory. This phenomenon is particularly evident in complex tasks that require the management of multiple pieces of information simultaneously. Experimental Evidence a notable study by John Jenkins and Carl Dallenbach in 1924 demonstrated that forgetting can occur due to interference from other activities rather than the passage of time alone. Their experiment showed that participants who slept after learning new information retained more of it compared to those who remained awake, highlighting the impact of interference on memory retrieval. Neuroscientific Insights Neuroscience research reveals that different types of memory are stored in various brain regions. For instance, Procedural memories, skills, and habits are managed by the basal ganglia, while episodic memories, events, and experiences rely on the hippocampus. The dual process theory also suggests that there are two types of memory retrieval, automatic, fast, and effortless, and controlled, slow, and deliberate, each involving different neural pathways. Practical recommendations. Enhance encoding. Focus on deep, meaningful processing of information to improve encoding and storage. Use retrieval cues. Create strong associations and contextual cues to facilitate easier retrieval of memories. Manage information load. Avoid overloading your brain with too much information at once to prevent cue overload and improve recall. Practice regular review. Reinforce memories through regular review and retrieval practice to strengthen memory traces and retrieval pathways. Utilize contextual learning. Learn and review information in varied contexts to enhance the robustness of memory retrieval. Understanding how memory is stored and retrieved provides valuable insights into improving learning and recall. By applying these principles, you can enhance your ability to remember and access information effectively. Focus point three, effective memory techniques. 
Effective memory techniques are essential for enhancing how we encode, store, and retrieve information. These techniques leverage cognitive principles to improve memory retention and recall, making learning more efficient and effective. Novelty and Unique Cues One powerful method to improve memory retention is the use of novelty and unique cues. The principle of distinctiveness suggests that novel or distinctive information is more likely to be remembered because it stands out from the surrounding context. Research by Alan Baddeley and Graham Hitch on the working memory model emphasizes that unique or unusual cues create stronger memory traces. For instance, using vivid imagery or unusual associations can help make information more memorable. Mnemonics and Memory Palaces Mnemonics are memory aids that use specific techniques to enhance recall. The method of loci, also known as the memory palace technique, involves visualizing a familiar place and associating pieces of information with specific locations within that place. This method exploits spatial memory to create strong retrieval cues. Studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of this technique. For example, research by Nairn and Pandorata found that participants using the memory palace technique performed better in recalling lists of words compared to traditional rote memorization. Chunking and organization. Chunking is a technique that involves breaking down large amounts of information into smaller, manageable units or chunks. This method leverages the brain's ability to remember chunks of information more easily than individual items. George Miller's research on the magical number 7 indicates that the human brain can typically hold about 7 chunks of information at a time. For example, phone numbers are chunked into groups, e.g., 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, to make them easier to remember. Rehearsal and spaced repetition. Rehearsal involves repeatedly reviewing information to reinforce memory. Spaced repetition is a technique where information is reviewed at increasing intervals over time. Research by Hermann Ebbinghaus on the forgetting curve shows that spaced repetition helps combat forgetting by taking advantage of the brain's natural learning processes. Spaced repetition tools, such as flashcards, Use algorithms to optimize review intervals and enhance long-term retention. Elaborative encoding. Elaborative encoding involves connecting new information to existing knowledge or personal experiences to make it more meaningful. This technique improves memory by creating more elaborate and interconnected memory traces. According to the self-reference effect, information related to oneself is remembered better than information unrelated to oneself. For example, Relating new vocabulary words to personal experiences or creating stories around them can significantly improve recall. Experimental Evidence A study by Robert A. Bjork and colleagues on desirable difficulties found that techniques such as spaced repetition and retrieval practice enhance learning by making the process slightly more challenging. This added difficulty forces the brain to engage more deeply with the material, leading to better long-term retention. Practical Recommendations Use Novelty Incorporate unique and distinctive elements into your learning to make the information stand out. Employ mnemonics. Utilize techniques like the memory palace or acronyms to create strong, memorable associations. Chunk information. Break down complex information into smaller, manageable chunks to enhance recall. Apply spaced repetition. Review information at increasing intervals to reinforce memory and combat forgetting. Engage in elaborative encoding. Connect new information to existing knowledge or personal experiences to deepen understanding and retention. Applying these effective memory techniques can significantly enhance your ability to remember and recall information, making learning more efficient and impactful. Focus point four, practical study tips. Effective study techniques are essential for optimizing learning and memory retention. Implementing practical study strategies can significantly enhance the ability to absorb and recall information, making the learning process more efficient and productive. Active learning. Active learning involves engaging with the material in a dynamic and participatory way, rather than passively reading or listening. Techniques such as summarizing information in your own words, teaching the material to someone else, or applying concepts to real-life situations promote deeper understanding. Research by John Dewey highlights that active involvement in the learning process leads to better comprehension and retention compared to passive learning methods. Interleave practice. Interleave practice refers to mixing different topics or types of problems during study sessions rather than focusing on one topic at a time. 
This approach contrasts with the traditional blocked practice method, where one topic is studied intensively before moving on to the next. Research by Robert A. Bjork and colleagues on interleave learning shows that interleaving enhances the ability to distinguish between different types of problems and improves long-term retention. For example, studying various math problem types in a single session rather than mastering one type before moving on can lead to better problem-solving skills. Utilization of diverse learning resources. Using diverse learning resources can help reinforce concepts and provide multiple perspectives. Combining textbooks, online resources, videos, and interactive tools can cater to different learning styles and deepen understanding. Studies suggest that integrating various resources helps create a richer, more connected learning experience. For instance, using multimedia resources alongside traditional texts can improve comprehension and engagement by appealing to different sensory modalities. Practice testing. Practice testing, or self-testing, involves regularly assessing your knowledge through quizzes or practice exams. This technique not only evaluates understanding but also reinforces learning by retrieving information from memory. Research by Henry Rodiger and Jeffrey Butler shows that practice testing enhances long-term retention more effectively than passive review. For instance, taking practice quizzes on the material you've studied can lead to better performance on actual exams. Distributed practice, distributed practice, or spreading out study sessions over time, is more effective for long-term retention compared to cramming all study efforts into a single session. This technique leverages the spacing effect, which demonstrates that information is better retained when study sessions are spaced apart rather than massed together. Research by Ebbinghaus supports this, showing that spacing out review sessions improves memory consolidation and recall. Experimental evidence a study by Sapita et al. on distributed learning found that space study sessions result in better retention compared to mass practice. Participants who spaced their study sessions performed better on recall tests than those who crammed all their study efforts into one session. Practical recommendations. Engage in active learning. Summarize material, teach it to others, or apply concepts to practical scenarios to deepen understanding. Incorporate interleave practice. Mix different topics or problem types during study sessions to improve problem solving and retention. Utilize diverse resources. Combine various learning materials, such as textbooks, videos, and interactive tools, to enhance comprehension. Implement practice testing. Regularly assess your knowledge through quizzes or practice exams to reinforce learning and evaluate understanding. Adopt distributed practice. Spread out study sessions over time to improve long-term retention and avoid cramming. By applying these practical study tips, you can optimize your learning process, enhance memory retention, and achieve more effective study outcomes. Focus point five, forgetting as an active process. Forgetting is often misunderstood as merely a passive loss of information. However, contemporary research reveals that forgetting is an active, purposeful process managed by the brain to optimize memory and cognitive efficiency. Active forgetting. Active forgetting involves the brain's intentional mechanisms to suppress or inhibit certain memories. This process is thought to be crucial for cognitive functioning as it helps to prevent information overload and keeps the brain focused on relevant data. The theory of active inhibition suggests that the brain actively works to suppress outdated or irrelevant memories to maintain mental clarity. Research by Anderson and Green on directed forgetting has shown that individuals can actively forget information when instructed to do so, indicating that forgetting can be a controlled and deliberate process. Neural Mechanisms The neural mechanisms underlying active forgetting involve several brain regions, including the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus. The prefrontal cortex plays a role in executive functions and cognitive control, influencing the ability to focus on pertinent information while inhibiting irrelevant details. The hippocampus, crucial for memory formation and retrieval, interacts with these mechanisms to facilitate the suppression of non-essential memories. Studies utilizing brain imaging techniques have demonstrated that these regions are actively engaged when people attempt to forget specific information. Forgetting and memory updating. Forgetting is also essential for memory updating. The brain continuously refines and updates memories based on new information and experiences. The memory reconsolidation theory proposes that when memories are recalled, they become malleable and subject to change. This process allows for the integration of new information and the modification or elimination of outdated details. 
Research by Kareem Nader and colleagues on memory reconsolidation illustrates that memories can be updated or even erased during recall, emphasizing the active nature of forgetting and maintaining accurate and relevant memory content. Interference theory. The interference theory posits that forgetting occurs because new information interferes with the retrieval of previously stored memories. This interference can be either proactive, where old memories disrupt the recall of new information, or retroactive, where new memories hinder the retrieval of old information. Research by McGeach and McDonald on retroactive interference shows that learning new information can impact the ability to recall previously learned material, highlighting how active processes affect memory retrieval. Practical Implications Understanding forgetting as an active process has practical implications for improving memory management and learning strategies. Recognizing that forgetting can be an adaptive mechanism helps in developing techniques to mitigate its effects and optimize memory retention. Practical Recommendations Employ active rehearsal. Regularly review and rehearse important information to reinforce memory and reduce forgetting. Utilize retrieval cues. Create strong retrieval cues to facilitate the recall of important information and combat interference. Incorporate memory updating. Continuously integrate new information with existing knowledge to keep memories relevant and accurate. Manage interference. Be mindful of potential interference by spacing learning sessions and minimizing cognitive overload. Practice directed forgetting. Use techniques to deliberately forget irrelevant or outdated information to focus on more important data. By recognizing and leveraging the active nature of forgetting, you can develop strategies to enhance memory retention and improve overall cognitive efficiency. Focus point six, proactive inhibition. Proactive inhibition refers to the phenomenon where previously learned information interferes with the acquisition or recall of new information. This type of interference occurs when old memories hinder the retrieval of new ones, making it challenging to learn or remember recent material. Understanding proactive inhibition. Proactive inhibition is a key concept in the study of memory interference. It suggests that older memories can create obstacles for learning new information by creating overlapping or competing memories. This interference can be particularly pronounced when new and old information share similarities, leading to confusion and difficulty in distinguishing between the two. Neuroscientific basis. Research into the neural mechanisms of proactive inhibition indicates that it involves the same brain regions responsible for memory retrieval and storage. Studies using brain imaging techniques have shown that when individuals experience proactive inhibition, there is increased activity in areas such as the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in executive functions and cognitive control. This suggests that proactive inhibition affects the brain's ability to manage and prioritize competing memories. Experimental evidence a seminal experiment by John A. McGeoch in 1932 demonstrated proactive inhibition by showing that when participants learned a list of items and then learned a new list with overlapping items, their recall of the new list was significantly impaired. This experiment illustrated how previously acquired information can interfere with the retrieval of new information, supporting the concept of proactive inhibition. Impact on learning and memory Proactive inhibition can have a substantial impact on learning processes. For example, when studying for a new subject that is similar to a previously studied one, students may find it difficult to distinguish between the two sets of information. This interference can lead to confusion and reduced retention of the new material. Strategies to mitigate proactive inhibition. To counteract the effects of proactive inhibition, several strategies can be employed. Spacing and variation. Space out study sessions and vary the topics covered to reduce the likelihood of interference. This approach helps to create distinct memory traces for each set of information, minimizing overlap. Contextual differences. Study new information in different contexts or environments from where you learned old information. This can help create unique associations for the new material and reduce interference. Focus practice. When learning new material that is similar to previously learned content, Focus on the unique aspects of the new information to reinforce its distinctiveness. Active review. Regularly review and consolidate old information to maintain its clarity and relevance. This can help in reducing the interference of older memories with new learning. Use of mnemonics. Implement mnemonic devices and memory aids to create clear distinctions between old and new information. Mnemonics can help in reinforcing the unique aspects of new material. Practical recommendations. 
implement space learning, spread out study sessions over time, and vary the material to minimize proactive inhibition. Change study contexts. Alter your study environment to create distinct contexts for different topics. Highlight differences. Focus on the unique features of new information to differentiate it from previously learned material. Review regularly. Consolidate and review older information to maintain its relevance and reduce its impact on new learning. Use mnemonics. Apply mnemonic techniques to reinforce the uniqueness of new information and aid in recall. By understanding and addressing proactive inhibition, you can improve your ability to learn and retain new information, making your study sessions more effective and less prone to interference. Focus point seven, effective study techniques. Effective study techniques are crucial for enhancing memory retention and optimizing learning. By adopting proven strategies, learners can improve their ability to grasp, retain, and recall information more efficiently. Active recall. Active recall is a technique that involves actively retrieving information from memory rather than passively reviewing it. This method forces the brain to reconstruct and retrieve stored information, strengthening memory traces. Research by Henry Rodiger and Jeffrey Butler has demonstrated that active recall is more effective than passive review for long-term retention. For instance, testing yourself on the material you've studied helps reinforce the learned information and improves recall. Spaced repetition. Spaced repetition involves reviewing information at increasing intervals over time. This technique leverages the spacing effect, which indicates that information is better retained when study sessions are spaced out rather than crammed in a single session. Research by Ebbinghaus on the forgetting curve supports this approach, showing that spreading out learning sessions enhances long-term memory retention. Tools such as flashcards with spaced repetition algorithms can optimize this process. Elaborative interrogation. Elaborative interrogation is a technique that involves asking why and how questions about the material being studied. This approach encourages deeper processing and understanding by linking new information to existing knowledge. Research on elaborative encoding shows that elaborating on material by questioning its relevance and connections improves memory retention. For example, asking how a new concept relates to something you already know can enhance comprehension and recall. Self-explanation. Self-explanation involves explaining the material to oneself or others in one's own words. This technique helps consolidate understanding and identify gaps in knowledge. Studies have shown that self-explanation promotes deeper engagement with the material and improves problem-solving skills. For instance, explaining the steps of a math problem or the reasoning behind a historical event can enhance understanding and retention. Interleave practice. Interleave practice, also known as mixed practice, involves studying different topics or types of problems in a single session rather than focusing on one subject at a time. Research by Robert Bjork and colleagues indicates that interleaving improves the ability to apply learned material to different contexts and enhances long-term retention. For example, studying various types of math problems in one session rather than focusing on one type at a time can improve overall problem-solving skills. Experimental Evidence a study by Sapita et al. on distributed learning supports the effectiveness of spaced repetition and interleave practice. Participants who employed these techniques showed improved recall compared to those who engaged in mass practice. These findings highlight the benefits of using varied and spaced study techniques to enhance memory retention. Practical Recommendations Implement active recall. Regularly test yourself on the material to strengthen memory and improve recall. Use spaced repetition. Review information at increasing intervals to enhance long-term retention and counteract forgetting. Practice elaborative interrogation. Ask questions about the material to deepen understanding and create connections with existing knowledge. Engage in self-explanation. Explain the material to yourself or others to reinforce learning and identify gaps in understanding. Apply interleave practice. Mix different topics or problem types in your study sessions to improve application and retention of information. By incorporating these effective study techniques, you can enhance your learning experience, improve memory retention, and achieve better outcomes in your educational endeavors. In conclusion, this audiobook has taken you on a fascinating journey through the intricacies of memory and forgetting, shedding light on how our brains manage and optimize these essential processes. We've explored several key focus points to help you enhance your learning and memory retention. Focus points recap. The science of forgetting. We learned that forgetting is an active process, 
involving mechanisms that help manage cognitive load and maintain focus on relevant information. Memory Storage and Retrieval Understanding how memories are stored and retrieved can significantly improve your ability to recall information effectively with techniques such as encoding, tagging, and cue utilization. Effective memory techniques, techniques like using novelty, mnemonics, chunking, and spaced repetition are powerful tools for improving memory retention and recall. Practical study tips, active learning, interleave practice, and diverse learning resources are practical strategies to make your study sessions more productive and engaging. Forgetting as an active process, Recognizing that forgetting can be a purposeful mechanism helps in developing strategies to manage and mitigate its effects. Proactive inhibition. This phenomenon, where old memories interfere with new learning, can be managed with techniques like spacing study sessions and focusing on unique aspects of new information. Effective study techniques. Implementing methods like active recall, spaced repetition, and self-explanation can enhance your learning efficiency and long-term retention. Recommendations for improvement. Incorporate active recall. Test yourself regularly to reinforce memory. Utilize spaced repetition. Review material at increasing intervals to boost retention. Engage in elaborative interrogation. Ask questions to deepen understanding. Practice self-explanation. Explain concepts to yourself or others for better grasp. Apply interleave practice. Mix topics during study sessions to enhance learning. Thank you for tuning in to this audiobook. Your support means a lot, and we hope the insights shared have been valuable in enhancing your memory and learning strategies. If you enjoyed this content, please like the audiobook and consider subscribing to the MediaDeem YouTube channel for more enriching content. Remember, listening plays a crucial role in improving your English language skills. The more you listen, the better you'll speak. Keep listening, keep learning, and stay curious. We look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future.